Would you join me tonight in honoring Dick Bott to receive the Richard M. DeVos Free Enterprise Award for Exceptional Leadership. On behalf of the officers of the Council for National Policy and our membership, we applaud you, we thank you, and we are grateful for you. So thank you for allowing us tonight to, uh, to honor you. We're thankful for your wife, Shirley, and we're, for uh, just your testimony and your witness. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, CNP. Somebody said, getting into your 80s is not the big problem, it's getting out of them. <laughs> so we're going to try and do that. But uh, 64 years ago, last month, there was little Shirley Erna Patterson. Last month was June. She was 17, going to be 18 in September. And then there was Dick Bott, who was 18, going to be 19 in October. And we thought we knew everything. You know how it goes. But I'll tell you, when God causes you to be equally yoked, and one helps the other, and the other helps the one, and the two of you work together for the same cause, I want Shirley to stand. And uh, and and my son Rich, my son Rich, who is the president of the network now and is really responsible for so much of its growth, I'll tell you this: God bless me when He blessed me with those four children. And Rich is really the one; he's my best friend, and I've said that for years. Surely, is my lover. <laughs> but Rich is my best friend. Stand up, Rich, and my grandson. My, uh, my number one grandson, who now has a daughter who is going into, well, she's going into her senior year, and she ought to be a member of the Buckley Council here. So stand up, Jason. And uh, it was just wonderful to have him here. But I want to say this quickly, because I know I don't have much time, and he'll be pulling on my shirt tail in a second. But... <laughs> It was Bot Radio Network, and that was to preach God's word. But then, it, my nature is, how is the salt and the light going to work? What do you do? And all of these other things, and I found myself in Washington, either 30 or 31 years ago, probably 31, and at Paul Weirich's, Paul Weirich's office. And Paul Weirich had a conference, and it was so interesting. I was just soaking it up like a sponge. And then Dick Dingman was there. And Dick Dingman said, well, he said, you're so interested in all these things. I suppose you've heard about Council for National Policy. And I said, no. And Dick Dingman, 30 or 31 years ago, sponsored our membership at Council for National Policy. I remember the meeting was in Toronto. And Shirley and I went. And we were just like many of you in thinking, well, who are these folks? And I'll tell you this, I remember they said that night, get to know everybody because they will become your lifelong friends. And many of your CNP friends will be closer than you have in your hometown, maybe even your church. Because for the most part, they love the Lord and they're focused on doing something. Uh, and, and it worked out that way. I mean, if I started in, I'd, it would take forever, but just to be able to know Judge Paul Pressler because of CNP and, and everybody else and so many in this room. So uh, that's what. And then uh, there's no doubt that CNP is a mixture of many things. And it reminded me of that saying, in God's great field of labor, all work is not the same. 
He hath a service for each one who loves his holy name. And you to whom the secret of all sweet sounds are known, rise up, for he hath called you to labor all your own. It isn't to come to CNP and copy what somebody else is doing, but find out what God wants you to do, because CNP is made up of doers. I remember Rich DeVos used to say, CNP is made up of the, of the donors and the doers, and <laughs> the two of them get together. Um, and the other one was... One ship sails east. Now, here we are at this time in our history. We've got this election coming up. We don't know what the future holds. And we know who holds the future. One ship sails east and the other sails west. By the very same wind that blows, you see it's the set of the sail. And never the gale that determines which way the ship goes. Our trust is in the Lord, and we will put legs, and we will put our feet into motion to obey him, and then let him work it all out. God bless you, and thank you so much.